This facility in suburban Detroit is home to the remains of 145 people. As the temperature starts to creep. People who hoped medical technology will enable them to someday live again. We refer to them as patients because we don't believe that they're corpses. We don't, we're, we haven't given up on them. Patients come from all over the world and range in age from 14 to 100. The youngest patient is also one of the most recent arrivals. She died of cancer and it was her wish to, to be cryopreserved and, and her wish was granted. The unidentified London teenager asked a judge to grant her wish despite her age in what he called a unique case. She became our patient about three or four weeks ago, approximately that time, and she is a patient at our facility. The girl was a believer in the cryonics movement. But not everybody is. The idea of freezing whole bodies and bringing them back to life has basically zero scientific support at this point. The Cryonics Institute also houses the frozen remains of 125 pets, mostly cats and dogs. It is one of three full-service cryonics facilities in the world. One is in Russia, and another is in Arizona. That one gained renown for holding the remains of baseball legend Ted Williams. Membership to the Cryonics Institute in Michigan plus freezing costs about $30,000. For Andy Sawaki and other officials at the nonprofit institute, it's worth a shot. The worst thing that's going to happen is you're going to remain dead. You have nothing to lose, life to gain. At worst, your state could lose some money. Others apparently feel the same. The institute says it has more than 600 people signed up to be frozen when they die. Mike Householder, The Associated Press, Clinton Township, Michigan.